Hey, we're here at JC's Comics and More, your pop culture superstore. That's 6725 West Central Avenue. That is 436174195316097. Got a lot on my mind right now trying to process these these comics. We just did the Commandies. These are the Jack Kirby's. We're going to try and get through the the rest of these Jack Kirby books. I took way too much time talking about the Commandies and geeking out on stuff. But here we got the Forever People number two. We sold the number one. Number one had the first full Dark Side appearance. But you got Beautiful Dreamer. You got Inks by uh, Coletta. Uh, you've got Big Bear. Uh, you got uh, God, I can't even remember this. some of the other uh, some of the other individuals in this Kirby book. Again, you would have most of these Kirby books would have two page spreads. Uh, this one, for whatever reason, does not. You've got Dark Side. Dark side, very sinister looking. Uh, let's see if we can get through this. Unfortunately, that has a tear on it. Uh, so, see if we can get through this. You can tell the Vinny Coletta inks. Vinny Coletta, you can always tell. And chances are, there's probably backgrounds in these here that Vinny Coletta uh, erased because he didn't. He hated doing those Vinny those those inks. Uh, you got this Warlock or Woodstock. You can get some Woodstock uh, gear. You can go back. Uh, Gridiron Grabber. Look at that. That's a car that you could uh, put together. The coming of Mantis. And see if we can get through this pretty quickly. This was a uh, booming in the buzz tube. We've got Mark and Steve uh, doing articles. You'd get some of this, this extra articles to read. I believe Marv Wolfman actually did one of these uh, for, for some of these books. So you got Desaad, you got Dark Side with the stripper boots on. Read Life versus Anti Life. Okay, let's move on to issue number four. You must have missed issue number three. This guy, of course, back then, there was not comic shops. You'd have to take your chances at drugstores, carry out supermarkets to try to find uh, uh, find the comics. Kingdom of the Damned. Got the Vinnie Coletta inks. Does this have a two-page? There we go. There's a two-page spread. There we go. Jack uh, really loved doing these two-page spreads. You got the Weird World of Aurora, where you had the uh, these monster kits. You had this uh, Vampirilla kit. Uh, I had most of these as a kid. Uh, I certainly loved them. Take a quick look through these, see if uh, see if we can find anything interesting. There's Dark Side. Dark Side's always just walking around and ha ha ha, and you know just talking and doing very little. Why this gentleman is proud to cast some show here, aren't you, sir? No, Grandpa, I'm the real thing. This is no time for jokes, friend. Can't you see this child is frightened? Of course, friend. All young animals realize the real thing when they see it. Young animals see me even in Happy Land, while you odors hide behind some cock and bull stories to keep the premises smelling sweet. Fool! Still, the cosmic joke escapes him. How can he cope with, with me, by shunning me, his other face? <coughs> oh, Jack Kirby! I'm afraid, Grandpa. That man's scary. This here, you got house ad. This here, and uh, the, they've got explanation for uh, uh, for why the the cost of the comic has gone up. They used to do that back in the day. Back in the day, if the comic went up in price, they would apologize to you. These, they don't apologize to you anymore. Look, Desad. Look, he's uh he's getting ready to uh, have his way with beautiful dreamer. All right. Win one thousand dollars. What's the magic word that sleeps? The sleeping robot princess. How to play folk guitar? Sunny Somo. Here you've got this pin up here. Again, we look at the at the ads to see if there's any names we recognize. We do not. There's another pin up, and then uh, you got this right here. This is really cool. 
by Jack, pushing his books. And then you've got a uh, reprint of Sandman from Adventure Comics 85. You can see how Jack's artwork has changed greatly over the years. We've got another great ad. The Infinity Man. And I'll be right back. Had somebody come in, see if I can help them. Okay, we're back. We've got somebody coming in, getting the new issue of Rick and Morty. You got Sunny Sumo. Again, you get this great two page spread. Take a quick look. We've got this Aurora model kit uh, ad on the back. Again, really cool ads. Spirit World. You can learn to draw comics. Earn from the iron. At home, from experts, earn big money. $1,000 for a Walt Disney stamp. It's the one with his head in the jar. You got Kirby Classic, probably reprinting maybe maybe Sandman again. Yep. From Adventure Comics number 84. I think they had 85 in the last issue. Kirby and Simon. Again, any names that we recognize? We do not recognize any names here. You got Beautiful Dreamer. Those are beautiful dreamers. Here's how you can get free comics, charter membership, something that they tried to push. You know, if you bought uh, bought Group One Action Adventure Comics Superman, Group Two Young Love, so they broke them in different groups. You couldn't pick and choose. If you wanted the comics, you had to uh, you had to uh, you know pick pick the group that you wanted to buy. So we'll go on to issue number six of the Forever People. Again, it's going to have a reprint of uh, Kirby's and Simon's Sandman, The Omega Effect. Again, you got Vinnie Cloud inks. Do not have a two-page spread in this issue. Again, pretty common. Every once in a while, they would not be. Ah, this is Mike Roro that did the inks on this one here. Vinnie must have been gone at that point. You got some old Viking. Probably uh, might be Thor. Yep. The Norse god Thor. He's got his hammer. So see, that was not the first time that that Kirby drew Thor, and he's got a winged helmet, just like Marvel's Thor. He's got his hammer. And there he is, Thor, God of Thunder. Put a butt whipping on Sandy and uh, and Sandman, the villain from Valhalla, issue seventy-five. Again, we look at these these names here. Mike W. Barr, he writes uh, comics. Uh, he's been writing comics for quite a while. Uh, there's Bob. He's the DC Answer Man. So you certainly got a couple of people in this uh, in this issue. Uh, you got Dark Side using his Omega beams. He, of course, he called them then. Uh, it begins. I generate the Finder beams. The beams are at full power. He's shooting his finder beams. Let's move on to the next issue, issue number seven. Uh, let's check in the back real quick. Again, we've got a Kirby and Simon classic from Adventure Comics number 80. These were reprinted in not any sort of real order. You could have bought this Kirby portfolio. We do have one here. This is very, very cool. Got these ads here. Glorious Godfrey. There's Abraham Lincoln. Oh no, it's uh it's High Father. Got the Viking the Black. Because I couldn't just call him Viking. Yeah, I'm not sure. There's the uh, letters pages. No one of great note in this issue. And there's the High Father. This great double page spread. 
Yeah, beautiful dreamer. We've got the next issue of Forever People, issue number eight. Again, the Kirby Classics. Oh, you got your nose. Dark Side took uh, Big Bear's nose. Issue 77. Again, no rhyme or reason as far as what they reprint and how they reprinted these books. No double page spread on this issue here. You got some really crazy looking aliens. You got this great Aurora model kit ad. The cavemen are coming. Look, you got an allosaur. Kirby's fourth world blockbusters. You've got this uh, ad here to push their subscriptions. Issue number nine, the eerie return of Dead Man. Jack brought Dead Man back. And here you've got all the characters, Mark Moonrider and and uh, the Battle of Frankenstein. And again, we'll see what issue seventy four of Adventure Comics, uh, the May nineteenth forty two issue. Uh, you've got pushing the the books that are direct currents. The Adam is miscolored. Simon and Kirby. Is there a letters page in this issue? We do have a letters page. But no one, no one of any note in here. Monster in the morgue. Again, no two-page spread. Dead man's work is not finished. You got this Frankenstein character. Captain Aurora. It could be a wrestler. It could be Kane. Move on to issue 10. We've got a few more. We've got two more issues of Forever People. And then I'll take a break to take care of the, the person that's in the shop here. Again, no two-page spread here. Maybe Jack decided towards the end there to not do a two-page spread. Uh, here, Beautiful Dreamers being told she looks uh, uh, terrific in bathing suits. Of course she does. How could that not be terrific looking? You got this villain with a hook. He's lighting a cigar. He knows who Boston Brand is. Jack's women are always very well built. You got Dead Man showing up. Checking everybody. Your hook. Your right hand is a hook. Stay back. Clack, clack. This is advertising the Swamp Thing. Different comic magazines coming. Bernie Wrightson, Joel Orlando, Len Wein. And now a new Kirby blockbuster is on the way. Look, they're pushing the demon. Look, there's a Clark Kent road in. The Infinity Man returns. Again, they're pushing the, the Demon comic. You got Dark Side again with the stripper boots. Does this have a double page spread? It does. Looks like one of Kirby's characters from uh, the Fantastic Four. And I'll be back. Okay, we're back. We got these demons to uh, go through. Uh, one of Jack's better known characters, the demon. And this is his origin. And. Got a great double page spread. I mean, look at this thing. 
Look at the art and the detail that Jack put into this. There's very few artists these days. These artists these days that take two, three, four months to do an issue, they don't do, the entire book doesn't have the kind of detail that page has. Get off your butts and do your comics once a month, dude. You're drawing comics for a living. You're not out working on a, uh, on a uh, assembly line. You're not uh, installing uh, uh, brakes on a car. You're not you're not working on uh, on the highways. You're drawing comic books. Jack could do what five, six comics a month or more. John Buscema, you know, multiple comics. All those guys from the 40s, the 50s, 60s, 70s. Even Mark Bagley today. Mark can do two 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 comics. John Romita Jr. can do two comics. If you just apply yourself. We got uh, again. We got uh, first appearance of Jason Blood. And you've got the, the Demon. His first appearance. Let's see where he has to. Jason Blood has come this way, and there he is. The Mystic Tongue. Change, change, O oh former man. Release the might from flesh and mere. Boil the heart and heart of fire. Gone, gone, the former man. Rise the demon, Atrogen. There he is. He's he's ready to kick some ass. And time to build. There's Jack. Jack talking about about comics and and the comics he's been doing. Coming soon, Commandy, the last boy on earth. In his mind, the demon emerges. Issue number two of the Demon. Again, it's strange. On some of the books, Jack has, or this, this guy bought two copies. Some, there's only one. We've got two and five, so we missed three and four. Uh, see, Inspector, no one is here. Chapter one, you got the great, and the rocks look like rocks. When Jack drew rocks, they look like rocks. They look like stone. Let's see here. We've got Mark and Steve doing uh, a little essay there. Like I said, issue number five. We're missing three and four. No two-page spread on this one here. He's fighting Groot. Groot was created by Jack. Demonology. This is the uh, letters pages. Again, as I stated before, you have men writing, you have women writing. Everybody talks about how comics. Your women never read comics. Women would read comics. So do men. That's uh, sexist for somebody to say that only men read comics. Look, it's Sal from Chicago, Captain Marvel, Shazam. Billy Batson. What's up, Billy? And we've got issue number seven, so we missed issue number six. But we go seven, seven, then twelve, so we missed several issues at that point. And you've got, uh, you've got somebody from uh, Black Veil Brides right there. The Witch Boy. Demonology. Here we go. Can you guess what's so different about this man? He doesn't have a face. She's got a high forehead. You know, something happened to her. Again, we've got that issue right there of that 100-page spectacular now on sale. It's not 50 cents, though. There he is. Look at him. He's a crafty little boy. He's got a bad cat. Look at that. that cat right there. Swiftly descends on Jason's wounds. Cats do that. They're, they're, they're crafty. Crafty little cats. I had a cat that was that way. He, was, he could be great. He could be crafty. Oh, there's a number four. See, somebody went through these comics. As they're going through the comics, I'll let people go through the comics and pull out if they want something priced up. But they'll put stuff out of order. People cannot put stuff in order. If only there was something like numbers that you could you know, keep track of. You know, Where does this comic go? So we'll go back. We'll backtrack on this number four. 
rejected the logo not quite the same again we'll look at the letters pages we're not seeing anything anything unusual on the letters pages I'll make sure I put this comic back in its correct order. And also we'll talk about the, the colors popping off the page. I mean, look at that. It just pops off the page. But here we got issue number 12. Double page spread. It's got some big monster bug. Again, it looks like something that Guar would do. You know, those guys were influenced. You know, Bob and and Brad and Dave and Hunter. Those guys all were influenced by, by Kirby stuff. And there's this great prehistoric ad. I love those things as a kid. That was a great time to be a kid. You had all kinds of cool stuff coming out. Rebirth of Evil! Could never get my old man to buy me any of these figures, but from what I'm able to tell these days, they are very cheaply made. He was cheap, and uh, it was good for him. First issue of Plop, I had that issue. He bought me that issue of Plop. He might have been cheap, but he bought me good comics to read. Days of Warverton. Here we've got the DC Currents. Talks about what's out that week. Seeds of Disaster, Chapter 3. And there you have, you have another one of those ads. That company, they made bank off of stupid kids sending in their $1.99, thinking that they got good comics of uh, uh, good figures that they could they could play with. And they were just cheap, uh, thin plastic. Demonology. And anyone in here? I'm not seeing anybody, so we'll move on to the next issue of the Demon. Issue 14. I don't think I'm going to get through this stack before this video, before this, before this, uh, this, uh, this runs out. It's not video because it's a, uh, it's a memory card. Here we've got another double page spread by by Jack. We've got Witch Boy. We've got my coming core romance Witch Boy. He's a priest. Play on the Witch Boy. You returned. And he's got his, he's got his cat. That cat's not a, not a nice kitty. That's not a nice kitty. That's not a nice tiger kitty. Did you say guest? He's eating a eating a looks like he's eating a piece of cake or something. He's drinking milk off the table. Get that cat off the table, Cleon. Get that cat off the table right now. He ain't gonna be drinking my milk. We're famished. What are you eating my cake for? I didn't say you could eat my cake. Help yourself. Better watch it, witch boy. I'll smack the crap. I'll smack the witch right out of you. Oh, he fights himself. He's not going out gracefully, mister. Oh, there's the cat. He's uh he thinks he's getting his own way. Daddy boot the kitty. Look, this was, uh, this, this cat's pretty funny. It's, it's before, uh, before the cat in uh, the Red Lanterns. Here we've got Demonology. There's Kurt Meyer. Got these, again, these great house ads. Got issue number 15 and 16, and then we're going to Ryan of the New Gods. Not sure if this right here, what happened here, uh, that word balloon uh, was missing. And he is, he is just a pesky kid, man. That's back when you could spank kids. You need to spank that kid now. Have him go get a switch out from the yard. Jack's cats were sinister. You don't want to want Jack's cats as your, as your pet. They're sinister. Oh, you could change that cat into a uh, different kind of pussy cat. Uh-oh, they're eating more cake and stuff. Look at him, he's going to town, look at that blade. Man, he's just slicing left and right. She's just going to town too, man. Cops are trying to find some stuff, they can't find anything. They see this cat, that cat looks like he's pretty bloated.
got Pirates of the Caribbean, these great uh, models that were from MPC. They're from Mount Clemens, Michigan. Got free patches, six different patches for free. Patches and pockets. And the demon having all kinds of problems. There you've got uh, one of the treasury editions with the House of Mystery. You can send away for those. There you've got 100 page spectaculars. You've got Shazam, Captain Marvel, Sal. And you've got the demon. You've got the detective comics. You've got Norm Morgan Refrain in the next issue. Jim Hansen. And anyone else? Anyone else here? No one else. So we got Demon number 16. This is the last issue that he had in his, his collection. This came out in 1974. He stopped collecting comics, I think, in 74 or 75. There's some comics from 75. Not a double page spread. Again, you look at this creature. This creature could be in a, war, a Guar um, concert. Morgan Le Fray. Yep. She's got him right where he wants him. Ruthless Witch, you will regret this encounter. I said Jack's women are always pretty ample. Power of the stone. I mean the gems, the infinity gems. He's got the mark. Do you wear the mark? Do you wear the mark? Ralph Macchio, the uh, editor for Marvel Comics. Let's see Mark, uh, Mark in there. This ends the Adventures of the Demon, but not the efforts towards great and, and intriguing reader uh, entertainment. See your dealer for a new and exciting comic from the Kirby Works coming very soon. So, last issue of the Demon. Issue 16. Very last issue. But I'll do another video, which is going to talk about the new gods and talk about Mr. Miracle. So we'll try to get through that as well. And then, of course, there's stuff like Captain Marvel, Green Lantern. you got Tuma Dracula. We've got these Fantastic Fours. We're going to have to go through and check. We're going to go through, and I won't go through quite as detailed. We'll try to burn through these things pretty quickly like this here. Unfortunately, there's some comics that we just don't don't have with the Fantastic Fours. There was no 48, 49, and 50. There is a 100, but there is no 112. So you don't have the Thing Hulk battle by John Basema. Here you've got Action Comics. You've got the you've got Alan Funt from Candid Camera. You've got some early Jonah Hex as well. So if you like those videos, certainly subscribe. And if you subscribe, when you subscribe, be sure to smash that bell for notifications. Other than that, thank you. Have a great afternoon. And remember, be kind to each other. You know, Mr. Rogers said that, you know, even though he killed people in Vietnam, be, be kind to each other. Thank you.